Um, so this morning, I asked myself this very question in a way. Like, I said to myself, oh yeah, I was called to come. I like literally said to myself, I was called to come here because I don't want to be here. Because I told myself after the last time I came here, I wasn't going to come here again. And like for the money I spent here, I could have gone on a very, very nice holiday. <laughs> you know, like, you know, much closer to home with much nicer conditions. And I was, and like, and I, you know, and not gotten sick and all of that stuff. And, um, but then, but then in a way there's like no question in my heart about being here, right? It's just like I sit here, especially like sitting here at Terragar and like I feel like, I feel very fortunate to be here. You know, I feel very fortunate to be here. And two things happened, like the very first day, because when I came, I didn't know anyone. I didn't know, I was like, I knew no one else who was coming. And I know not a lot of Americans come. And the very first day, I drop off my luggage where I'm staying, and I come right over to Targar, you know, to start doing my, my Koras around the building. And like, before I even finish my first Kora, I see someone I know that I haven't seen in a long time. And I go, oh. And then, like, while I'm talking to that person, I see a second person. And I go, oh, I'm here to talk to them. And it turns out I spent most of my time with those two people. And it feels like that's part of the reason why I was here. You know, and then, and then just, um, yeah. And then just, you know, I can't even question it anymore. I, you know, and if you ask me, will I come back? I, I'll say no, but like, I might wake up one morning and be like, I'm going to Bodh Gaya. You know, and, and then I'll just go, right? Without without sort of thinking about the you know the beach or the you know or the lovely travel through Europe I could be doing or or you know anything else. I'll just I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh yeah, it's time to go to Bukaya. It's already going on, so I have to say something. Okay. So why I am in Bodhgaya, I'm not on the beach now. Well, the answer is easy. I don't really like beaches. This first, you know. If I stay on the beach, maximum two days for me, and I am completely bored. You know, I can't. Even some people say, okay. You can meditate on the beach, like this, you know. They say so nice, you know, the sound of the of sea and like this, but it's really too much for me. Much too much. Then I like Bodhgaya. I like Bodhgaya because it's kind of dirty and it's so many sounds, so many different nation people coming. And they will make everything like Ganjung Mangjung completely, you know. And somehow all these things like watching my own mind, like some sound I like, some things I like, then I will grasp. Many things I don't like, then I will always reject. And this I really like about what Gaia, you know. If you stay in remote places, nice places, then you are just with your own mind and you watch your own mind and you can complain about yourself and like this but if you stay in Bodh Gaya you can almost complain about everything this is really amazing yeah? it's kind of I feel relaxed you know relieved you know then I can't complain only about myself but also about some other things it's quite of amazing what do you think I chose to go not to the beach on Goa, 
here in India, but come here to Bodh Gaya? Uh, my answer is I choose to spend my time here in India as the worst time of my life and at the same time at the most amazing time of my life where I learned the most of and with learning I not just mean learning but almost evolving like the growth that people are going through here in Bodh Gaya is uh, almost beyond growing but really evolving Well, um, Borgaya, uh, well, from my very traditional Buddhist perspective, it's the center of the world, right? <laughs> so, uh, um, it's a place that has power for anything on a spiritual level. And since for me, that's my life, then it makes sense to come here because if I wish to um, to develop spiritually, then I wish to do it in a power spot and this is where the Buddha became awakened. So I have the best chance of following in the footsteps of the Buddha if I come here. And uh, of course it's not an easy place to be. It's a very difficult place to be actually. Um, but all of that is part of the whole process, if we can take it that way, the spiritual process. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's an important place and, and uh, from being here we hope to be able to grow ourselves in our minds and, and, uh, and that way be able to be of more benefit to the world. Of information here, and you start to use this information. Not really convinced uh, at all, but then after some time, when you yes, when it is uh, convincing, then you cannot change anything. That's why. So then uh, there's no way of going back to a normal life now. That's how it is. Good guy, why would it's the home of the Buddhas? Period. And stop. Done. So this is a very very good question. This was also my question for myself. Because I was very close to go to have I looked at it? <laughs> I was very close to, to think about why do I don't go to Bangkok. It's really close, very far. You just need two or three hours by, by plane to go to Bangkok. <laughs> when I entered here in Bodh Gaya, I felt like, wow, I have to leave immediately. But Bodh Gaya is a very... Uh, it's my second time in Bodh Gaya. I think you have to say this. And I remember my first time I had the first, the same feeling, but when I came back from Bodh Gaya, it was, I had it still, it was very, a lot of energy, a lot of, um, how do you say, it helps me when I remember my, my experience in Bodh Gaya. So that I thought I would come back to Bodh Gaya, and it was also Kagi Mannan, and I know my, all my teachers were here, or not all of my teachers, but many of my teachers are there. And then I was really here, I was like, oh, what are you doing here? I'm really exhausted, I really need beach and just 
easy life. <laughs> this was my first idea. And, and I, I also know that my, afterwards I'm going to travel with my sister and she don't want to have beach because she just came back from Egypt for three weeks. So I feel like, oh, I really need beach. <laughs> Sun. But you know what I'm doing now? Every day when I'm going to the night cora, I buy a coconut. And when I'm drinking this coconut, I imagine I'm on a beach in Thailand. <laughs> so I found a way to, to put these two things together, beach and vodka. And now I really, after I'm here for three and a half weeks and today is my last day, I'm leaving tomorrow. I really love Port Gaia. It's a wonderful place. You have to find your spots. You have to find your, your spot yourself. Where are you? What are you doing? What is your ambition? Why are you here? This question. And uh, so, yes, this is, I'm here. I'm very happy. Very good. <laughs> You. Do you want, to want me to record well, let's you? Let's try it. Yeah. So my answer. Is it recording? I have yes. to press. Okay, yeah. Um, my answer. Um, very fair question. <laughs> <laughs> my answer. Why? Why? Yeah. Yeah. And why not the beach? Yeah. Um, I was actually thinking about the beach a lot lately. <laughs> I miss it because I've been in India so long and I haven't been swimming and just the feeling of swimming is so nice. Yeah. Especially with the temperatures in Bulgaria. But my, like, if I'm 100% honest, it's on the one side super simple. Um, when I was young and met my father for the first time in Bolivia, he told me to follow my dreams, like my actual dreams, not like follow your dreams in, in actions, but like when I dream something and I get, like use my dreams as my guidance. And that's why I did. And I had like super struggle in between. I was like, this is nuts. <laughs> like I cannot just change my whole life for a dream, you know, like, like this is, and then I did it anyway. And I'm, I'm here. And it's been tough, very tough. But it also, it also changed me in a very good way. So even though it's been tough, I'm happy and I probably come back. I probably do come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> Thank you.